Hi, I'm Gary Hoover, and I'm a serial entrepreneur based here in Austin. I picked it 34 years ago as a place to move to to start my first business, which was a uh, the first chain of uh, large bookstores called Bookstop, and Barnes & Noble later bought it. Also started a company called Hoover's, and I teach and preach entrepreneurship all over the world. I've been at the University of Texas and, and a lot of affiliations on my ninth startup. It's been great to be here at the Small Business Festival. Uh, we had just finished a great panel with a group of very diverse entrepreneurs of different genders and ages and different businesses. And so that's always a learning experience. And I believe entrepreneurship is really a lifelong journey of self-discovery. And, uh, and uh, that was, uh, came up a lot in the questions of what would you have done differently? Well, a lot of times, well, I wouldn't have done anything differently because that was where I was at my stage in my own evolution. And to understand that we're all learning and growing, evolving, and entrepreneurs in particular, first of all, independent-minded, you know, we kind of got to learn by making mistakes, and, and that's the way you really grow and learn, but also lifelong learners and curious about all sorts of things. So those were some of the ideas that, that really popped in the, in the discussion and the questions that came in. Making my decision about starting my own business, uh, I'm a little different. I started subscribing to Fortune magazine when I was 12 years old and became fascinated by business. I was really interested in big business. I grew up in a General Motors factory town and nobody could answer my questions about General Motors. But as I read it, I soon realized all General Motors and Ford and U.S. Steel and AT&T, they all started as small businesses. They all started with somebody in their garage or an invention or the vast majority of them did. And so o over time I realized uh, um, maybe it'd be better to start with a clean slate rather than take on an existing or because I knew I wanted to lead a big retailing organization uh, but by the time I was 13 or 14 I had pretty much decided someday I would create my own now, I didn't do that till I was 30 years old I went off and worked for those great retail organizations because I knew I needed that training and far more valuable uh, to me than I than an MBA or something would have been I mean that's great and everything and, but uh, they were paying me and I was learning from the pros you know uh, on the job which is something I still think can be very, very helpful. So I made it a little earlier than most people, but it's a personal decision. Um, people become entrepreneurs for so many reasons. Very rarely is it money, not among the great entrepreneurs for sure. Uh, 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 control over your own life. Uh, you do have some more control over your own schedule. You know, instead of working 40 hours a week for somebody else, you're working 160 hours a week for yourself. Having some control over your fate and your destiny, but also the, the belief that you can affect other people's lives, because that's really the core of it. I define entrepreneurship as getting great personal satisfaction from serving others. So how can I create a new product or new service or revolutionize an industry and, and, and make the world a better place? And that's, uh, that's pretty darn motivating.